Chocolate and Valentine's Day go hand in hand. Add a warm beverage to the mix and you've got a delicious treat that's sure to show your loved ones you care. Our next guest is an expert in the art of tasty desserts. Kai's Clemmer is an award-winning executive pastry chef who lives in Kelloland and has quite the impressive resume. From owning a bakery in New York City to contracting with the Indianapolis Colts, let's just say <laughs> we're excited to taste the chocolatey treat that she is whipping up in the studio today. Perfect we'll Talk time. about chocolatey treats. Right. We're going to be starting actually with a, what do you call this, a latte? So this is a Belgium hot chocolate latte. Belgium hot chocolate latte. Latte. And we just want to let you know that she did say that there's no such thing as a skinny Belgium <laughs> chocolate latte. So, no skinny Belgium so we're latte, just going to yeah. get that out there right away. But <laughs> let's get started right away so we can get to everything that we're doing today. First, we have milk and... So we use milk, um, milk and heavy cream. Okay. And I just pour it in? Just pour it in. And we have a lot to get you today, so we're going to make sure and have all these recipes online for you, too, so you can go back and see exactly what quantities we're putting in. Now, you may or may not have a breville at home. I'm a little spoiled, so I do. Um, if you don't, you can do this in a pan with a whisk. You just okay. whisk away, and it makes a nice foam. So what we're going to do is you're just going to push this button. It's already calibrated to the right temperature. And uh, this will start frothing. As soon as it starts to feel warm to the touch, you want to add in. For a Belgium hot chocolate, I use Calibo which is a Belgian processed hot chocolate, or chocolate, should say. We're using a dark chocolate and a milk chocolate. This okay. is prairie cocoa blend, so it's my specialty blend. So once this is warm, you're gonna start adding that in, and then it will automatically stop when it's done. So you don't have to do anything else to it. Yeah, Very so while fancy. that's warming up, because that'll take a couple of minutes. Yes, it will. We're gonna start talking about the marshmallows. Okay. All right, so we do have more information online that have mm -hmm. the process of making the marshmallows, but let's just go through some of the ingredients, and then we're gonna show them kind of your process for cutting them out. Okay, so the ingredients are pretty basic. Uh, sugar, eggs, egg whites. Well, you use the egg whites, not the whole egg. Corn syrup and uh, cocoa powder. Okay. This is Calibo cocoa powder, usually I use a Valrona, and gelatin. And gelatin. Now, gelatin comes in a double pack, so you, you need two double packs or four single packs, however. And I find that it's better to open them from the bottom. Open it from the bottom. Pro yep. Open it from the bottom. And then we have a little Can bit of water. Can I see the out. water from over here? Perfect. Thanks. So it's important that you put your water in first before you add your gelatin. There's less clumping going on. So you're just going to kind of fold that a little bit and get it all into this little cup. Perfect. So when we say that we want to bloom the gelatin, this is the process for blooming Bloom it? gelatin. Blooming. It's called blooming it. And what you're doing, let me just reach in front of you here, is um, you're letting it absorb water. And this way, um, it sort of will thicken. You'll see when we pop it out here, it's going to be all jellied. When you heat it up, it's going to distribute more evenly and you're going to have a better texture instead of having a half soggy marshmallow and a half you know, right. I like, marshmallow. I love your pro tips and so I you love just kind of set that there on the side. your verbiage because we're going to sound professional. Now, I think the most important thing when making homemade marshmallows is the egg whites. Really? Meringue is not forgiving. It's really best if you crack each egg individually and add it individually. Um, they're all in a bowl together here, but I did it individually because just the slightest dot of yolk in your meringue and it will not work. I, I think I we're heating up. That. Awesome. Maybe we should come back to this? See it warm enough? Um, you can try. Start adding it in slowly. You don't have to take the cap off. Just okay. start adding it in slowly. Piece by piece. Yeah. There you go. All right, I'm going to continue adding. <laughs> you add that in. I'm going to slide our ingredients over so we can actually look at the finished marshmallows you brought here. Okay, so here in this case, because cocoa powder, you'll be wearing cocoa powder all day. So fine with me. <laughs> what you're going to do is just kind of do this, and you get that little. So I'm going to just kind of shimmy it you out. You see that there? You line your pan with saran wrap before you fill it with the marshmallow. And this is in the steps also. And I always do two. Um, and then you just kind of pull it away. I do two because it's more firm for two, th oh, we go two layers. It's two a layers. little tricky. The biggest thing is to make sure that it doesn't pull away from the pan so that the sides are all even. Okay. So now you're gonna kind of pick this pick it up. flimsy thing up. You'll notice on the bottom, there's all kinds of cocoa powder here. Now, I use a combination, some people use confectionate sugar. I use a combination of cornstarch. For the chocolate, you use cocoa powder and cornstarch. Okay. When you use sugar, when you use confectionate sugar, it, you can put this down now. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and actually, you want to just flip it over. Oh, flip it over? Okay. And so this is when by not use, using any powdered sugar. When, when you use confectionate sugar, it tends to get sticky. So okay. you take your hands and kind of brush off the excess, and there's a lot of excess here. 
Okay. I would advise you to work with an encounter space where you're not like, you can always tell when I'm working with chocolate because I am covered Everywhere? in it. I love yeah. that. <laughs> the best part about baking is being covered in it. Um, so this bag right here, you're going to take this and this is a special heart. This was given to me by my mother. Oh, that is, I love it. And uh, it's thicker, and that's why I like it, because marshmallows, you can make them, if you put them in a bigger pan, you can make them thinner or thicker. Okay. I'm going to dip it. Just, you don't need to dip it. Just cut it out. It won't stick. Okay. Watch, this will be the first time in the history of me making marshmallows that oh, no, this will actually stick. No. Perfect. And, it and pop right it out. out. And now what you're going to do is you're going to put it in the bag. And is this also cocoa powder? And this is the same thing, cocoa powder and cornstarch. I use bags because it contains everything. So you can put a couple in there and just leave them in there for now. It's going to come out pretty. Yeah. I just want so, to show that in case you ran Oh, okay. I'll show you a trick. Okay. If you throw a couple in there. Now, the thing about using cornstarch, so the chocolate, that looks great. Yeah, it's all in. And we do only have about okay. 30 seconds left. You want left. to add a teaspoon of frangelico in here. Oh, frangelico. So, mm -hmm. Is that this one? Yes. So you can add any kind of flavoring in here. Just remember that the better quality of product that you use, the better quality and results you'll get. So what does this do? So this just, uh, uh, this just adds like a hint of hazelnut flavoring to this. Okay. And that's it. You are done. And I added a few So here, more. if you put your hands in here, put your hands in here and yeah. shake the marshmallows like this. <laughs> oh, you want to get up. them out of the cornstarch okay. and just kind of shake them off. Okay, shake them off. Yep. I don't have a glove on, but I'll kind of show you. I yeah. just want to shake the cornstarch off. Because excess cornstarch really isn't very tasty. Okay. But here you go. That is perfect. There you are. Joanna, that's amazing. <laughs> Would you like to so I want to ask though, because we do have to go. Yep. Are we done? Do we have any more steps for this? this there's no more steps. Okay. It's not quite completed, so you won't see the froth. Um, if you want to pass me that cup there, I can just pour it right in here for you While to While you're doing that, I'm tasting this. Oh, enjoy see it. Ah. Usually, if we had let this finish, you would have a nice layer of foam on yeah. top. And then you can just float a marshmallow. In on top it. and enjoy oh, it. I love that. Yeah, thank you so, so much for coming so, in. Thank you doing so much. It's my pleasure. Thank you.